So number six then from paper two of the 2021 advanced hire resource paper, four mark question four, solve this differential equation. This first order linear differential equation. Linear because the y and the dy only appear as themselves, they're not squares or square roots or so on, given these initial conditions. So express y in terms of x for four marks. Well, what you do here is you try and turn this side into the exact form for the differentiation of a product. Because you're almost there. Because you've got a y term here and there's its derivative. So the x function should have been here with its derivative here, but only part of it's appeared. You have to find the missing factor that turns that into a proper product. Well, that integrating factor is e to the integral of whatever appears here. So it's e to the integral of 2x dx. Now, that's just going to be e to the, integrate that, up to 2 divided by 2 is just going to be x squared. Now, getting that integrating factor is worth the mark. Now, yes, you could say that's e to the x, that integral comes to x squared plus c. And of course, if you do that, rows of indices, that means e to the x squared times e to the c. So that's some constant. That constant's going to multiply everything in it and thereby just get divided out straight away. So there's no need to put down that constant, which is why you just put e to the x squared. So getting that's the first mark. There's the integrating factor. Now, normally you'd just go straight into the second line, but I think I'll put that in here just to show how it works. So multiplying everything by this factor, e to the x squared, we'd have e to the x squared divided by dx plus 2x e to the x squared y, whoops, is 14x e to the negative x squared times, I'll just put this one at the end, e to the x squared. And that's exactly what you would get for the product rule if you started with e to the x squared times y, because it would be differentiate that in one term and then differentiate that in the other. Right, so now integrating both sides, that'll just pop back to where it was. Pop back to where it came from. So e to the x squared y would be, now integrate this. So this is very handy here, look, they cancel out. So that just becomes one there, doesn't it? So I've just got 14 times the integral of x dx. So now I've got e to the x squared y equals seven, and that goes up to two divided by two, seven x squared plus c. Now there was one mark for that line there, for putting that in, not necessarily needing to show this, just showing the result of it, then another mark just for doing that trivial little integral. But now you've got to find what c is. It's well working out c just now before it gets enveloped in any further calculations. When x is 0, y is 3. So e to the 0 times 3 is, that'll just be 0 plus c. e to the 0 is 1, so c is 3. Which means I can now finish that one off e to the x squared y is 7x squared plus 3. So y will be 7x squared plus 3. Take that multiplying factor across and divide over e to the x squared for the final mark.